she couldn't teach me anymore because I was asking her about chord progressions that she didn't understand herself anymore. You're known as a jazz uh, no, fan. What is for you the most brutal jazz record that you have in your collection? Well, there are more records that I really enjoy um, being a jazz fan, but uh, I have to say that um, Master Plan from uh, Dave Wackel is one of my favorites because it was just like a, such a groundbreaking album uh, with uh, very great music musicians on it. Uh, but what has touched me the most as a guitar player, of course, I'm a guitar player, is uh, Alan Holdsworth's uh, Secrets, the album Secrets, which is like the most brutal album for me, really because it's such a mind-blowing uh, you know, musical experience and I hope everybody will um, um, recognize that this is like uh, you know, such a groundbreaking music. Can you remember uh, when you were younger, uh, were you always as a guitar player searching for material that could challenge you in a way, that you could try to, to, uh, to copy or to play yourself? Well, I learned um, um, at a very young age uh, really to um, to, you know, as a kid you're a sponge, you, you take all the information that you have and you try to make it your own. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I didn't want to do that after I was six or seven or something, because I started playing a guitar when I was four. Uh, but I didn't want to play music that was written by other people, uh, so that other people could say, wow, that sounds good, but it's a song from this and this. Mm -hmm. I always wanted to create my own music and therefore I stopped um, uh, trying to uh, reproduce stuff that other people have done, whatever, in the past. Um, it, maybe it's good for your uh, musical um, uh, career uh, if, if you want to, you know, play music that other, other people have played, like in, in, in um, uh, marital bands, for example, people do that a lot, you know, what is like, you know, f you know uh, popular, they play that music and people dance to that on, on, a, on festivities, whatever. But I was wanted to create my own sound and wanted to create my own style, and therefore uh, I stopped listening to uh, to other bands. And because um, it's very difficult for me to enjoy music, because I always think of okay, this is this chord progression, this is this. I'm too an analytical about about music in general, I guess. But where you were, did you have a teacher when you were like a teenager, or maybe even younger, when you, you were talking about six, seven years old? Uh, what kind of education musically did you have back then? You had a teacher, uh, or you? They, I don't know if the if the correct English word is uh, autodidact, but I I've learned I guess everything myself. Yeah, I'm self-taught, and uh, my mom she used to play guitar, and she you know she showed me the first chords. Uh, 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 how the fingering was, and after that, I just kind of progressed myself f uh, from that into um, someone who understands music on a deeper level and and kind of stopped thinking about the chords because I think that's like you know especially in in music it's more uh, about feeling than uh, of an understanding of the chords really what works. Until what age did you? Could you go to your mom to ask for help? Help was she? Uh, uh, maybe uh, at the age of uh, eight, something. Okay. And then after that, it was uh, it was over because then she she couldn't she couldn't teach me anymore because I was asking her about chord progressions that she didn't understand herself anymore. So. But it's quite young already when you are that age that you're busy with the, the progressions and the, the whole skill part. Yeah, uh, I don't know why that is. Uh, some people are good with craftsmanship. Some people are good. Uh, teacher, somebody can write really well. I, I just uh, understand music, I guess. You told you, you said that that because of the theoretical knowledge that you build up, that you couldn't listen to other music because you were starting to analyze it automatically. Right. Where did you lose this uh, this this uh, tick or uh, yeah? Yeah, it's a tick, definitely. Um, I, I kind of um, um, just not listening to music. Yeah. Yeah, really. But uh, yeah, I don't. I don't listen to music um, anymore. Because um, it, uh, I'm scared that it will influence my my style in in pestilence, for example. And on the other hand, uh, only bands that are like uh, higher on a level than I am myself, for example, like bands like uh, you know um, whatever Chikoria or musicians Chikoria, or um, 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 you know Tribal Tech, uh, Scott Henderson, Alan Holdsworth. I mean, then I can actually listen to the music because it's on a higher level. Uh, I would really have to think about what they're playing in order to understand it. So uh, that that you know, then it gives me some kind of rest. So that's why uh, the only music that I, when I listen to music is really this kind of music. You know, especially the the, the jazz and the fusion, uh, which gives me um, 
um, the peace of mind to just listen to the music mm -hmm. and I don't have to analyze it myself because uh, it would take too much time.